Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. Ala Abdel Ghadir. We will continue in interceptive orthodontic course. Today we will talk about ectopic eruption of ferris permanent molar. We want firstly to define what's ectopic eruption. Ectopic eruption is a condition in which the permanent teeth assume a path of eruption that intercepts a primary tooth causes its premature loss and a consequent malposition of the permanent tooth. Ectopic eruption of ferris permanent molar is a local eruption disturbance of abnormal eruption pathway of ferris permanent molar, causing the permanent molar to be locked under the distal undercut of the second primary molar. As we see in this radiograph, the six is locked under the distobacal cusp of the primary second molar causing its distal root resorption. Wow. Its incidence is just 2 to 6 percent. It's more common in maxilla than in the mandible. The etiology of this malocclusion is genetic, one of the causes, crowding or short in arch length, increased mesodistal width of the ferris permanent molar, and increase in mesial eruption angulation of ferris permanent molar. Ectopic eruption of the six is classified according to severity into four grades. It started from grade one, the mild form, to grade four, the very severe form. In grade one, the mild form involved limited resorption of cementum and dentin of the E. Grade two, the moderate form involved resorption but without bulb exposure. In grade three, the severe form involved resorption with bulb exposure. In the grade 4, the very severe form involves resorption that affect, that affect the mesial root of the E. This figure demonstrates the four grades of severity of ectopic eruption starting from grade 1, the mild form, to grade 4, the more severe or very severe form. According to prognosis, ectopic eruption is classified into reversible type and irreversible type. The reversible type, fortunately, is a common one. Here, the ferris permanent molar frees itself and erupts it in, into its normal position spontaneously. In irreversible types, the ferris permanent molar remains blocked against its primary second molar. Here, we need to intercept and correct its pathway of eruption. Here is a figure demonstrates the difference between the reversible and irreversible type. In the reversible type, we will see the spontaneous correction of the pathway of eruption of the six, and irreversible type, we see increase in mesial angulation of the six towards the primary tooth, leading to its premature loss. Diagnosis of this malocclusion is done clinically and radiographically. Clinically, we will see delay eruption of ferris permanent molar beyond its eruption time. And the eruption pathway, we will see distal cusp emerge before the mesial cusp. Radiographically, we will see overlap and impaction of ferris permanent molar against the stubacal root of the E. Treatment planning. 66% are reversible and self-corrected at age 7 to 9 years. Treatment planning depends on the clinical eruption status of the 6, the amount of resorption of the E, the mobility of the E, and the presence of pain or infection. What are the purposes of the treatment? The purposes of the treatment of ectopic ferris permanent molar are to move the six distally to its normal position in occlusion and correction of mesial angulation of six to regain space for normal eruption of the second premolar. The treatment start by observation for three to six months to establish if it's reversible. If no resorption of the E and vertical position of the 6 improve, monitor eruption. If there is resorption of E, we need to move the impacted tooth distally. We will see later in this lecture how to move the impacted tooth distally. 
If E is symptomatic or there is mobility of more than one millimeter, we will consider extraction of E and distalize the six once erupts. How to move the impacted tooth distally? If six is partially erupted, as part of its crown is visible clinically, we will use one of these methods. First, brass wire ligature, elastomeric or steel spring clip, orthodontic band on E with distal spring. If six is unerupted, we will need to surgically expose the six and use one of the above techniques. The first technique is the use of brass wire separator. This clinical photograph shows improvement in the position of ectopically erupted six following the use of brass wire in the contact between the E and the six. This serial radiograph shows improvement in the position of the six and finally the eruption of the second premolar following the use of the brass wire separator. The second method is the use of elastomeric separator, which is stretched and inserted in the contact point between the E and the 6, leads to improve in the pathway of eruption of the 6. The third method is the use of a steel clip separator, as we see in this clinical photographs. The clip is inserted also in the contact point to correct the position of the six. The use of orthodontic band on E with distal spring to distalize the ectopically erupted six. How to distalize mesial erupted six following early loss of E? If we lost the E prematurely, we can distalize the mesial erupted six using one of these methods, either to use removable appliance with a spring or expansion screw, the use of fixed appliance with open coil to push the six distally, or use extra oral appliance to distalize the six. Here is a removable appliance with the sliding spring. As we see, this removable appliance with a finger spring to distalize the C and create a space for the uninterrupted second premolar. Here is the use of fixed appliance with coil spring to push the molar distally and create a space for the second premolar to erupt normally in its normal position. The outcome of this treatment usually six erupted or repositioned to normal position. Resorption of E is generally stopped once six corrected its eruption path. Early detection is the key of successful treatment as the ectopic eruption lead to determine the best approach of the treatment. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any question, please write it in the question forum.